Hi, this is Ash Red with Leaf and Grain, and I'm here with Garrett with um, Doroteo, not Doritos. Don not Doroteo. Don Doroteo, not Doritos. And so we are smoking your new cigar that y'all just came out with and debuted. So if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about this. Absolutely. So our new offering this year that we just launched yesterday is the Salt of the Earth line. It comes in two different blends, one that is wrapped in a Dominican Corojo, which I'm smoking, and the other that is wrapped in a Ecuadorian Cameroon, which you're smoking. Okay. Um, the interesting part about this cigar is it uses a tobacco that is called Induyo tobacco. Okay, and Induyo is oh. wow. this. So. The Dominicans have been using this process to ferment tobacco for over 200 years. Wow. And they tightly, I mean, if you can see. Oh, wow. That is very. So, and that is just all tobacco uh -huh. and water and thyme um, wrapped in banana leaves ah. with a rope. And if you just take a smell of this. Oh, wow. So there's a 5% vein of this Enduyo tobacco through each of the blends. Oh, okay. And um, super unique, very few cigars mm -hmm. on the market that that have Enduyo tobacco. Very special, you get some raisins, sweetness, molasses. Goodness. All goodness. All sweet goodness. All sweet goodness. Very good. Yeah, so we're really ex super excited about this blend and this line. Okay, and then y'all also have your other that is like a ex very LE is how I'm going to say it now. It is very LE. And so if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the El Legato was launched last year at PCA. That project was uh, an homage to Doroteo, who started farming in the Dominican in 1936. Uh, three generations later, grandsons Juan and Aaron decided to bring a cigar to market to honor their grandfather's legacy in the tobacco industry. So they went to La Aurora mm -hmm. and um, because of the long history between Doroteo and La Aurora, they decided to give them access to the aging room and going through blends, they landed on the El Legado cigar and that was rolled 14 years prior to that time. So it had been sitting in La Aurora mm -hmm. for 14 years. Uh, Sumatra wrapper, Sumatra binder, Nicaraguan, Colombian, and Dominican filler. Um, we only have about 15,000 cigars left. Yeah. That's why I said it's Ellie, very Ellie. Super Ellie. Yeah. And um, we just got a 95 rating on that awesome. cigar. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be sad when it goes, but uh, it's been an awesome project and a wonderful way to give um you know homage homage to yeah that history to, yeah that is very good so i have one question mm -hmm. so you um are going uh to be on an island and you can bring one person one cigar and one pairing what are you going to be and it can be food pairing drink pairing anything i should say you can't take your coffee Ooh. but <laughs> So yeah, well, who? and for me, that's even harder because I've been sober 28 years. Right. So that takes the spirit game totally mm -hmm. out of it. Um, I think the hardest one is actually probably going to be the person I bring. But um, the cigar I bring <sighs> right now, it would probably be outside of my portfolio okay. if I'm if I'm not going to be biased. Um, I would bring mine, but uh -huh. let's say I'm not going to. It would be the Don Carlos. Okay, very good. From Fuente. Um, and if I could bring one person, it would probably be. Oh! <laughs> it would probably be my son Jude. Oh, very cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, the pairing would be, uh, so with that Don Carlos, if I can't have coffee, 
What about a food? Um, then it would be ribeye steak. Ooh, very good. Yeah, good. yeah, with a side of polenta. Very good. So thank you so much for sitting down with us in Leaf and Grain. Thank you. And we appreciate your time. And we wish all much success for PCA.